Hi, I'm Wei Yao, and I'll be introducing my final year project supervised by Dr. Shen Zixi. Different from most FYP, I have formed a team with two of my peers to participate in the Microsoft Imagine Curve 2023, where we have to develop tech ideas that addresses some of today's most pressing issues while being commercializable. Our idea was inspired from a piece of news reporting five cases of seniors in Singapore who died alone at home. The more we research, the more we realize how serious this is issue is in today's aging society. More elderly today are living alone, which is associated with higher accident and depression rates by research. There are some existing aging in place solutions that use sensors to monitor the activity of the senior, but it was difficult to implement the system in a large scale due to the fact that it requires a lot of expert knowledge to select appropriate sensors install them properly and actually understand the insights generated from the collected data. To address the issue, we have designed a system that aims to take over the need of an expert. Instead of having someone to visit the house and plan for sensor installation, the user only have to take a detailed video of the house and upload it to the cloud. The algorithm will process it into point cloud and generate a set of sensor types and locations which the user can later purchase and install in their house. With the sensor installed, behavior data will be, will be collected and analyzed and present the data to the caregiver through a weekly health report. My personal focus in this project will be how to generate a set of sensor locations that is customized for the room scan while maximizing their effects by placing them at the right place. For that, I need to first understand the room setting by identifying some of the important furniture, and this is done through 3D semantic segmentation. The architecture I have used was PointNet++, which was designed for classification and semantic segmentation of 3D point objects. The training dataset was chosen to be ScanNet. It is a very popular benchmark dataset for indoor scene segmentation annotated with 20 semantic classes that are of our interest and containing over 1,500 scenes. Due to resource constraint, two pre-trained models from the internet was used to test the concept. Both of them were trained over 500 epochs with the same set of hyperparameters except for the grouping of points. On the evaluation set, we can see that the MSG model has a generally better performance in terms of both accuracy and MIOU which is a metric that measures the similarity between the prediction and ground truth of a 3D object. To test the model, I have scanned 12 rooms in real life to see the segmentation performance. For example, in this living room, we can see that major objects like the floor, wall, chair, and table are being identified. Comparing them to the ground truth, we can also see that the table and the sofa are only partially identified correctly. Overall, we see that while the MSG model does a better job in prediction, it is still very sensitive to noise such as small objects in an untidy room. Also, semantically similar clusters are often mixed up, such as a table and desk, chair and sofa, bookshelf and cabinets. This issue could be addressed with a more robust model or by fitting in more training data. Currently, I have done some post-processing so that we could test out the feasibility of the entire system. DBS scan is a clustering method that is commonly used in identifying clusters of arbitrary shape, and it does not require complex tuning given that it only has two parameters and does not require a predefined number of clusters. As a first step, I have combined clusters that are semantically similar. Given that in our use case, we focus more on the functionality of the furniture instead of knowing precisely what it is. Clusters that are not contributing to the sensor placement were also replaced with the label Other Furniture. For some clusters that are outlier or wrongly classified, they are identified and relabeled to their geometrically neighbored cluster. Lastly, there might exist a few objects under the same class. We again use DBS scan to separate these three chairs that are all having the same label. Here we can see that the processed point cloud, although not perfectly aligned with the ground truth, it now contains less noise. So now we have the room modeled and we want to know where should we place the sensors to maximize their effects. 
But firstly, I would like to quickly introduce the sensors that we have considered at this stage. There are two types of sensors, coverage-based and location-based. For coverage-based sensors like the passive infrared sensor PIR, uses infrared that sense the presence of any heat source within the sensing range of 7 meters and sensing angle of 120 degree cone angle. While for location-based sensors, it is much more simple. The location where we want to place them is predefined based on what kind of data is needed in our behavior analysis. For PIR sensors, given the sensor location and all the constraints that it has, we want to maximize the number of points that are visible by the sensor. We can, now, we can search for the best sensor location by counting the number of points visible from a potential sensor location, followed by calculating the coverage rate, and finally select the location with the highest coverage rate. With a single sensor, if the coverage rate is less than the defined threshold, we would like to iteratively add on a sensor that takes care of the uncovered points until the total coverage rate reaches a certain threshold. The results of sensor placement can be seen below. The yellow ones are the PIR sensors to detect the presence of a person. The green ones are for temperature and humidity detection so that we can check for the environmental data. The blue ones are pressure sensor to check whether the senior is resting or excessively sitting. And the, the red ones are door contact sensors to validate the senior's current location. In conclusion, as part of the aging in place system, my project focused on understanding the room setting from a point cloud generated and provide a customized set of sensors according to the furniture location as well as the existence of obstacles. The sensor location will be used in the next step where we prompt the user to purchase and install the sensor so that in the future, behavior data will be collected for future analysis which will be presented to the user through a weekly health report. Thank you very much for listening.